Hello and welcome to this How the Moon edition of Hibble and DVD Review. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the mid 80s fucking awesome adaptation of the Stephen King fucking story. We're talking about the werewolf shit. Silver Bullet! Yeah, this is based off of a Stephen King novella called yeah, Psycho. Not even werewolf. a book, a novella. Well, it wasn't a real ass book. I mean, it was a real book, but it wasn't like fucking a thousand pages, man. Just a regular ass book. Great story though, and uh, they decided to make a film adaptation of it. Basically, the basis of it is you got a little boy in a wheelchair, you got his sister who's fucking resentful of his crippled ass and shit. She always yeah. calls him a cripple, who is shitty to him and I stuff. Know, man. He fucking Still got man. some bland ass parents, barely <laughs> make any effect on Barely in the movie. He yeah. got a drunk ass uncle, horse tooth jackass Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> and he even does a horse tooth jackass fucking impersonation. He tells yeah. a joke to the boy and he says, Cause I'm a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, dude, this is Gary Busey at his goddamn finest right now. And this is 1985, so this is who exactly. this is who he was always good, was supposed to be. Before the, the motorcycle wreck and shit, so it was just finished. But basically, it comes into it. There's a werewolf in this fucking town. Oh. Starts starts <laughs> eating everybody, man. Starts fucking eating pregnant ladies. Starts eating fucking little boys. He eats the best friend of the boy in the wheelchair. No, nobody's safe, man. Un unlike a typical lady slasher flick, you got like prostitutes dying, six crazy teens dying, fucking everyone dying. Mm -hmm. And Cops no, dying. Yeah. Everybody dies. Everyone dies in this movie. Lo Everyone. Local Nobody's business safe. owners, Nobody's bar owners die. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. It's a, Everybody's safe. Truly sick. horrific. So basically this story takes place over the course of a year. This little boy, man, he knows what's going on. He's like, he realizes, you know, and that's the thing is this whole town is a bunch of dumb motherfuckers, small town motherfuckers are going, man. how come everybody's getting chewed up, ate up, head cut off? How, who could be doing this? It takes, it takes a little boy with some imagination to realize this is a motherfucking yeah. werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, ten year old boy in a, in a motorized wheelchair. He's he's the only one that fucking figures it out. Like it's a goddamn werewolf, you fucking idiot. Exactly, man. And I gotta say, like, it, like maybe it's a boy who cried wolf story. If you want to get into it, but Corey mm -hmm. Haim playing the boy in the wheelchair, man, fucking great, man. Before he was, like had a little slick hair and was trying to be all cool and in <laughs> license to drive. That's and shit. just a drive. Yeah. Lost boys. <laughs> before, dream a little dream. Before all that cool bullshit, he's just a young kid, man, with like a regular haircut in a wheelchair, man. He ain't trying yeah, to be flashy. Just, and, and I gotta say, man, like it's a shame because you see how good of an actor he was. I know, man. Like, such a sweet fucking kid man so believable and I don't know man it would it would, it would have been nice to see his career grow from that fucking particular role exactly. and not, not go all the teeny bop shit cause maybe it was the teeny bop shit trying to be cool trying to party and too much mm -hmm. to caught up with him you know what I mean yeah man Fucking nowadays, when the fucking kid in a wheelchair gets an Oscar. You know? Exactly. It's like he didn't get jack shit. He didn't get shit. Damn. But then again, I guess it's because it's a werewolf movie, motherfuckers eating it. So basically, everybody gets eaten. Eventually, fucking they pulled her fucking crazy drunk ass up, little red into it. The, the little boy and his sister. Her sister finally quits being a fucking bitch because she realized <laughs> she realized if she don't help her brother, this motherfucker's gonna get eaten by a werewolf. Yeah, no shit. So, so finally, the only people that believe about the werewolf is little boy, his fucking former bitch sister, yeah. and, and crazy and drunk, drunk uncle, uncle Red, red. Gary. <laughs> Busey. Exactly. No one else believes it. And Gary Busey is even having trouble believing it. He's like, exactly. right, do I believe it? Do I not believe it? Fuck this shit. But he knows something's going on. He knows he, and he's got to help his nephew yeah. and shit because the, the kid's parents are dumb fucks. They do. They'll just, just, his, they'll his, just his his open ass. the door for the werewolf to come <laughs> in and eat this fuck. Ain't going to ruin too much of it, but the cool shit is they, they, they take some medallions, they take some necklaces, they put it down, they go one silver bullet, hence the title, silver, silver bullet. bullet. It all comes down to Halloween night. It's silver bullet. Silver bullet. Silver Bullet can mean a lot of things. His wheelchair is named Silver Bullet. <laughs> it is. No, it's true. It was so, the wheelchair in the movie was named Silver Bullet. So, yeah. So, basically, it's all going to come down to this Halloween night. Gary Busey, drunk as fuck, sitting up in the chair. This motherfucker was drunk. You could tell he was drunk. He, he, he's just a bottle of wild turkey straight. No exactly. checks are just fucking The whole movie, people were bitching out for being a drunk, man. Fucking great Gary Busey role. So, he's just sitting up. With a fucking gun in his lap, has one bullet in it, no room for error. The werewolf's gonna come because it's full moan and shit. Yeah, they're, ready, they're ready for it. They're ready for it, man. So yeah, so it wraps up. But I gotta say, just a great story, man. Really sold the reality of a small town under attack and shit because they really show the townspeople and the hysteria causing shit. I loved it, man. It had some good, like it wasn't overly gory, but did have some good gore shit in it. Did, man. It had some good blood and shit. Solid, hard R rating, I'd say. Fucking, you know, what can you say? But it also had a good story. Story, a good Morris, a little bit of motion to it. So Silver yeah. Bullet, man, I love it. I think it's fucking underrated as far as Stephen King, you know, book movies, whatever you want to call them go. 
I want to give Silver Bullet fucking eight and a half out of ten. I love it, man. Yeah, that's still insane. I was gonna give it the same fucking review. Exact spot on, man. I, uh, again, to reiterate, it's a fucking classic horror movie, uh, cl classic small town movie. It's kind of like Jaws, you know, but werewolf style. Like, like the real horror is how does how does a small town deal with it? You got a bunch of you know fucking crazy posse hillbilly vigilantes who want to go out and fucking find this thing. And by the way, they don't even know it's a werewolf. They, <laughs> they, they know it's something. They don't think it's a werewolf. How would you you just see a crazy motherfucker walking across the, the field and you shoot him? Like, come on. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe they thought it was like an escaped tiger from the zoo, <laughs> exactly. or maybe a what, rabbit sloth, what, or what, just what, some what? fucking crazy satanic guy. But like, just so insane how they want to go out with this posse and they get the fucking shotgun. It's, I mean, it's, it's such a succeed. <laughs> And, and man, the special effects, man, you don't need no CGI bullshit. No, you got a fucker in a suit, you got yeah. dummy heads bash yeah. apart and shit. Yeah, man, and, and even, the whole, even the whole transformation of the world, yeah, man. Yeah, good effect. I mean, maybe not as good as, you know, fucking American World from London, but... Dude, yeah, it's, it's not up to that level, but it's but still good. Still but the rest, of the, mo the rest of the movie has such a great story. Definitely, man. All right, picture and sound will come on this to be in DVD. I wish they'd come out with the Blu-ray, but whatever, they won't. Fucking pretty good fucking picture quality, Anna Murphy picture quality for DVD. Could be a little clearer if it's on Blu-ray, but it's not. The sound, man, just a mono sound. They wouldn't remix the shit. Was it a shame? Because they could have really put the werewolf sounds all around you. Yeah, man. Shit, well, I wasn't that impressed with the sound. Man. Yeah. So, I mean, basically just a basic presentation, but I'm glad we have it. It was out of print for a while. It's back in print. Get it now, motherfuckers. Picture and sound. Wasn't too eye popping, DVD quality standard, whatever. I want to give it fucking six and a half out of ten on picture and sound. Yeah, man. I mean, just because it was a horror movie and it was fucking you no know, werewolf and shit, I'll just I'll give it a six, man. I mean, it didn't impress me too much, and it didn't, you know, it was a DVD, but still not the best of the best, and I don't know, man. Still good. <laughs> All right, special features now. This, I guess, being Dino De Laurentiis, cheap, under the wire, whatever. Nobody was documenting shit. Guess what we get for special features? Nothing. Fucking nothing. I mean, Horrible. I mean, he's not even fucking joking, man. No. Is there is there a trailer? No. Is, <laughs> is, is there a link to a website? No. No. <laughs> is there fucking DV rum bullshit no. with some fucking you know cartoon werewolf bullshit? No. no. No, really. There's there's seriously nothing. No audio setup. Nothing. nothing. Special features zero out of ten. It has to be because there there are literally zero. So sorry, fuckers, but boom zero. All right, so that's it for Stephen King's Silver Bullet, man. Great adaptation, but also great snapshot of '80s fucking movies, man. The town cannot believe that a werewolf is fucking going crazy and running all around. <laughs> Fucking, but it happened, man, and it fucking killed everybody, so get into it for yourself. 